And good Thursday morning. This is a live edition of ZNN, co-hosted as always on a Thursday by the legendary Dr. Bob Lavi, a man about him. <laughs> uh, a marriage counselor, sex therapist yeah. of a, what else? Uh, by the way, I, I got to say all this morning to mine glorious buddy Bill Partridge from over in Hartz. Now he called yesterday and called back today. All you people want one of those cornhole games. Say what? <laughs> <laughs> they got him. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> they got them at Dick's. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, you don't put kidding. those. Wait a minute. You don't no, put, you don't put no, those not, two wait, words together I'm in not, a sentence. I'm not kidding. <laughs> They've got them at God. Dick's for $79 a cent. What am I going to do with you? Or you can order you? them on email for $39. Frank? Right? Ben David Corbett. That's right. Ah. <laughs> hey, I'm not kidding you. But Bill wanted everybody to know. If you want one of those cornhole sets, oh my god! No. <laughs> you don't, can go to Dick's and don't, pick one up. Don't use those two words together in the same hey, sentence. Bobby, Jamie, you I'm missed gonna... the show the other day, Tuesday, when we had a cornhole match. Oh, here. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, I hit the hole three times in a row. Oh. <laughs> And that means you had practice <laughs> for I years, I bet. talking about the beanbag toss game that they came up with that weird name for it for did, some reason. Did you did you used to practice out in the in the in the pasture when you were a kid? <laughs> hey, y'all know I'm on the front page of the news courier today. <laughs> Doing what? <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> This, this, uh, let me, let me this, this television uh, show, ladies and gentlemen, uh, is taking a new load this uh, morning. Let, <laughs> let me read the article to y'all. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Gloria, um, this is the uh, first time you can admit this uh, is not my Bobby, fault. Cooper also <laughs> focuses on local on local news and serious stuff on ZNN. Yeah, serious stuff, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Today, uh, Cooper, that's me, I day need, began at 2.45 a.m. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> he, I think I need to get a plug before I come over. <laughs> you going to get plugged, all right? You don't shut up. You want to get in the game? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I hope you don't have any serious news this morning, Jamie. We'll never get through it. <laughs> Gloria Cooper started a magazine who said it after two and a half years ago. According to Cooper, we've been holding our own. I can't <laughs> complain about nothing. Don't say holding your own and going holding dicks in the same sentence. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, gosh. Oh, my Anyway, <laughs> y'all can, can read all about me. Not that I ain't going to tell you enough about that over the next two or three months. Oh. But Karen Middleton, thank you for doing a great job. One of my favorite newspapers of all time and my best buddy, the News Courier, you know, no, at I, least today. I met, a, <laughs> I met a couple ladies last night who mm. wanted to watch the show, and they watched Charter, and I didn't know what channel mm. it was on. Lord have mercy. I'm not sure. I'm glad they're not watching. I hope they're not watching this morning. After all right, this let me move along here, Bobby. I got serious news. <laughs> uh, okay. A thief that likes beer and pancakes stole money and a vehicle from a sleeping man. <laughs> What was that man doing? <laughs> uh, this lady here, a 39-year-old woman, is charged with third-degree burglary. The thief took a 12-pack of Budweiser and four Baker pancakes from Mountain Coast Service Station on South Jefferson on May 25th. <laughs> uh, I've never tried Budweiser and pancakes. i got to tell you that. But anyway, then she stole a car while the man was asleep and saw him drive it off. Oh. Uh, Limestone County Sheriff Mike Blakely said gangs, inmates, and suspects with diseases are putting an increased demand on the sheriff's department. <laughs> Boy, you, you forgot you the right story, don't you? <laughs> During Wednesdays, they need to get them a game over there to yeah, play. Yeah, I bet they yeah. do. I think like they already have it. <laughs> During Wednesday's Limestone County budget hearing, Sheriff Blakely asked for over $8 million, which includes eight patrol cars and a building to house specialized vehicles. The amount does not include a request for hazardous duty pay and adding two cell blocks to the jail. Right now, the jail can house about 280 inmates. I'm willing to bet maybe they even have a league over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my. Calm down. Uh, Your head is sweating. I'm telling you. <laughs> Utility bills in Decatur are going to increase over $12 a month. 
A typical Decatur utility customer with a single family rent will pay about $12.66 more for a month for water and sewer service by 2012. That's a pretty good raise. Hell yeah. Hey, um. <laughs> Here's something that San Francisco's doing that the rest of the nation, they're thinking about doing it. A bill to tax and regulate marijuana in California like alcohol would generate nearly uh, $1.5 billion in revenue for the cash-strapped state. I bet you they got a league out there. They would rest them, <laughs> report, estimates marijuana retail sales would bring in $990 million from a $50 per ounce fee and $392 million in sales tax. So there you go. Y'all remember last like, couple years ago when I told you the woman, 66 years old, had given birth to twins, the oldest woman ever to do that? Yep. She died. No. Yep, 69 years old. Kids were drove her to crazy. Uh, <laughs> that, a, a Spanish woman who deceived a U.S. fertility clinic about her age became the oldest woman to give birth, at, at, uh, died at 69, leaving behind two-year-old twins. Oh, boy. 